Okay, welcome back to CalcPage, the Calculus and Computer Science project, video project online on YouTube. All right, today's topic is how to write a program on the T89. So uh, let's not make the math an issue. We're just going to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. And we're going to solve equations like this. And then we can use what we learned today to figure out how to write a program for Newton's method. All righty, so here we go. What if I wanted to solve this equation? x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. I can solve that by factoring. What multiplies to 1, what adds to 2? That would be x plus 1 times x plus 1. Set each factor here equal to 0. And you get x equals negative 1 or x equals negative 1. A real, rational, equal roots, repeated roots. That means it's a parabola that just hits the x-axis at the point negative 1 comma 0 and it bounces off. It doesn't go through the x-axis. All right, fine. But what if you want to solve something that's not so obvious, like, let's say, um, x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0. Now it's not so easy to factor. So we'll use the quadratic formula. All right, so x equals negative b. This, is, this coefficient is 1. That's a, this coefficient 2, that's b, and this coefficient 2, that's c. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times a, a is 1, times uh, c, all over 2a, and a is 1. So what do you get? Negative 2 plus or minus, let's see, 4 minus 8 is negative 4 in the radical, and that's why we call this term b squared minus 4ac, 4ac the discriminant, because depending on whether it's positive or negative, you get complex roots or real roots. It discriminates between the roots before you even solve the problem. You know what kind of roots you have, the nature of the roots. So what is that? That's negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2. That's while well, the 2 factors out, so it cancels with the 2. Negative 1 plus or minus i. Okay? So in this case, it's a complex root with a real part and an imaginary part, right? Okay, so I like to write the quadratic formula this way. If you're solving for uh, x squared when ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real constants, then x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. What I want to do is write a program that solves for x like this, given a, b, and c. But I don't like, I don't write it this way. I write it this way. Ready? It's the same thing. The real part, negative b over 2a, plus or minus the imaginary part, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right? So let's write a program. The first thing we're going to do is write a program that, that prints out the discriminant. Okay? So let's say... Um, I have x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0. What's the discriminant? It's b squared minus 4 times a times c. We just did this one. That's negative 4. When the discriminant is negative, you get complex conjugates, the nature of the roots. OK? Now, what if it's x squared plus 2x plus 1? equals 0. Now you get it's b is still, b squared is still 4, minus 4 times a, a is still 1, but now c is 1, so you get 4 minus 4 is 0. When the discriminant is 0, you're adding and subtracting nothing, so all you get is the same root twice, like we did a minute ago. Real, we call that real, rational, equal roots, because they're rational. An integer divided by an integer. Let's say a, b, and c are integers. All right, how about this one? x squared plus 2x plus nothing equals 0. This is easily factored as x times x plus 2. So the roots are 0 and negative 2. So that's real, rational, unequal roots. Let's see when that happens. b squared is still 4. a is still 1. c is 0. So you get a positive perfect square. Real, rational, unequal roots. But what if it says uh, x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0? Then it's b squared is 4 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 1. Now you got 4 
plus 4 is 8. It's positive, so you don't get complex conjugates, uh, but it's not a perfect square. So you get real, irrational, unequal roots, like 1 plus or minus rad 2, something like that. This means all the real numbers erase all the rationals. All right, so let's write a program that at least figures out the discriminant, just as an example. Go to your calculator. Oops. Let's move them around a little bit. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder for each program I write. So today, the quadratic program. Second, var link. In here, you'll note I already have a number of folders. I already have one for quad. So you could call it quad if you want. But I'm going to call it quad 2 to start from scratch. So hit F1 to manage your folders and go and create a folder. And I'm going to call it quad uh, 2, right? So let's see, where is Q, right? U, I'm in alpha mode already. I don't have to hit alpha. A, D, I already have quads. So I'm going to call it quad 2. Now I'm in alpha mode, so I'll turn off alpha to get the 2. Hit enter. Hit enter twice to make it stick. Now you have a new folder. Okay, now if you escape that, second, uh, well, if you quit that, second escape. Notice you're not in, the re in that folder, you're in the main folder. How do I get to quad 2? You go to mode, and you go down here to current folder, and right arrow, and you select the one you want, the one you created. I created this one. Hit enter twice. Now you're in quad 2. So everything you do is in quad 2. All the calculations are stored there. All the variables are stored there. All your programs are stored there. And if you want to run it, you've got to go there. Okay? All right, so go to apps. And let's go to program editor. And let's do new. And it's a program in this folder. I'm going to call it quad. So go down. I'm going to call the program quad again. Let's see, quad. You could get more fancy if you want. Q-U-A-D. Enter. Enter. Okay, so this is for input parameters. I'm not going to use any input on a program. I'm going to prompt the user for input. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. Go to F3, input output commands. Go to prompt, ask the user for input. What input do I need? I need the values of A, B, and C. So alpha A, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C, enter. Okay. And let's display the discriminant. Again, an I.O. command, display or printing out, F3, go to display, the discriminant. Now, I'm going to make a function for the discriminant. So like square root, you plug in 4, you get 2. Okay, I'm going to make a discriminant function. You plug in 1, 2, 2, you get negative 4, whatever it was, right? So I'm going to make a function called discriminant. Alpha D, alpha I, alpha S, alpha C. Let's see, there it is. Open parentheses, I'm going to plug in A, B, and C that was given by the user. Alpha A, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C. All right, so let's write this function. Go back, this is automatically saved, so don't worry about that. Go to apps, go to program editor, go to new. And now it's not a program, it's a function. Functions, you plug in some values, you get an answer out. Okay, I'm going to call it disk. So again, uh, am I in alpha mode? I'm not sure. Let's see. D? Yeah, I am. Okay, D, I, and S, and C. There it is. Okay, disk. So let's create the function disk. Hit enter twice. And it's going to take in some input. It's going to be alpha A, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C. And what are we going to calculate? We're going to calculate alpha b squared minus 4 times alpha a times alpha c. And that's it. Is that right? That's right. Okay, so let's quit that. A a second escape. And let's run it. Alpha, uh, go to var link. Go to the program quad. Hit enter. And close that. Hit enter. And I got some junk from a previous program. Don't worry about that. It's asking for A. Let's see. A is 1. Enter. Uh, B is 2. It's asking for B. That's what the prompt command does. 2. Enter. And 2 again. I should get negative 4. 
There you go. All right, we're running out of time, so we'll leave it at that. Thank you.